Hello there, my name is AC and today I'm going to be showing to you my mod, Endernet. It's a mod that lets you transfer items, messages and redstone signals by either in server communications or inter-server communications and it even works across different mod packs. Let's start with getting the two main blocks we need, the Ender Transmitter. It's, its recipe is something like this. For redstone, for diamond, one ender pearl. A bit expensive, but it gives you a lot of possibilities. And the second one is the Ender Receiver, which has a pretty similar recipe, only it's Lapis Lazuli instead of Redstone. And let's place those two. As you can see, each block has a unique ID. Those are assigned sequentially. This one is 14, and this one is 15. Now, the Receiver needs a chest or any inventory near it. Let's use this, this present-styled chest. And let's send an item. If you notice, this here, this receiver has an ID of 15, and here we have an address. This part is the server name, and this is the unique ID. As we're only going to be testing on a local server today, we're going to keep this as local. Um, your server admin can define any extra name, and the ID is 15. Let's send a chest, actually. As you can see, it disappeared, and it's in this chest. And yes, it works over servers as well. Let's try setting something else. Something more complex. Let's say a book. And let's type in hello. Oh, hello. Sign, hi, sign, close, and insert. There's a nifty smoke effect every time you smith send something. And here it is. The book is there and has all information retained. And the same will work across two different servers. But not, that's not all of the functionality. Let's, let's get some redstone running. Click, actually, no, like this. Click, and like this. And let's get the redstone torch. And yep, you can send redstone signals like that. But not just regular redstone. Let's try something a bit more involved. It works with the mine room factory reloaded at ResNet, but I don't have it installed here. It also works with Red Logic bundled cables. No Project Red support yet. So if you're using Project Red, don't use bundled cables. It won't work yet. If you have Red Logic, you can already use the functionality. And let's get some insulated wire. Let's say brown and purple. And red alloy wire. So we can send. And click, click. And click, click, oh, this red alloy wire. And sorry, I got them confused. Um, and here, and here, and here, and here. Okay, so this is a simple circuit we can make out of these. And now if we send, let's say we're going to send a purple signal. It's going to send the purple signal. If you're sending the brown one, it will send the brown one. Now, the best part about this is that it converts between the different formats on the fly. So you can send um, red net signals to red logic bundled cable signals, or if the server uses different redstone mods, you can send signals between them. And the last feature I'd like to show you is the Ender modem. It's green. It's also a lot cheaper if you look at the recipe. It's seven cactus green, a diamond, a single diamond, and an ender pearl. And this is a block that only appears if you have computer craft, because it only works with computer craft. Okay, and now mm, we're going to need a separate, separate listening server. So we're going to get another Ender modem. And this one has an ID of 16, this one has an ID of 17. For this one we're going to write a quick wrestling program. First, we need to grab the peripheral, it's on our left. Then we set the address, which is 16 for the other one. And while actually we don't need to do that, because this will be the receiver. If you want to send, you're going to need to do that. And if you want to send, you do something like this. Or something like this, if you want to specify the address in the send command. 
Now we're going to be calling. Uh, we're going to be receiving events. So if we do this now, local name, name, source, message site equal and endpoints. Since RC one with endpoints, I'm going to show them in a moment. Equals OS pull event. And if name equals equals internet message, then print message. And end. Oh, sorry. Save to receive, exit RCB. And if we go to this one, what and peripheral wrap right send local 17 hey. Yep, we've got a message, and this works inter-server as well, which is a pretty nice feature. Of course, this. Of course, it's not the only feature. Sorry, something was happening in the other room, but the other modes are very versatile. Um, and endpoints, the last feature. Now, in most of the mod packs, which is FTB Monster and Resonant Rise as of now, this version is not yet installed. But if you have RC one, you can use this thing called endpoints. And to demonstrate it, I'm going to put a few more chests. Oh, not this one. This one. I'm going to put one on the bottom and on the top. Now, if you take another transmitter, um, this is an ID of 19. So, but we have an endpoint, which is marked with a slash, bottom. And let's try sending a brown insulator wire. Poof. And on the bottom we have one brown insulated wire. But if we pick top instead of bottom, and is for this one, it's going to send to the top chest and the bottom chest here. You can also read those endpoints from within computer craft systems, so you can specify endpoints for your own purposes. Now, and the last feature is um, you can use, in the latest version, you can use a branch. Let's say a buildcraft branch. It also works with the crescent hammer, the inverse bladder branch, etc. But if you place an end transmitter, it has an ID of 20, let's say. But if you break it and place it again, it has an ID of 21. Now, if you shift click it with a branch, well, shift right click, it's a bit unintuitive, but oh well, it's going to store the ID. And if you place it, it's going to keep that ID of 21. It's not going to change it, which is a very welcome change from the older mechanic. But remember, those two features, endpoints and the branching, only work if you have RC1 version 020 or higher installed. And if you want to, there's one more feature. It's called the Ender chat box. Now, you may be familiar with chat boxes if you've played on Miss Peripherals. What this does is you can set up a bot, wrote one here. And it can listen to chat messages and respond to them, and it has an wonder built in. So if I do, it says, I love you too. It can intercept all the messages that happens within 12 blocks of it by default. And you can also speak within 12 blocks by default, but that is all configurable. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, even though it might be not too rushed. And I hope to be putting up more videos soon showing new functionality as I added. Thank you.